in the last video we have uh, write our first program and printed hello world so now what we are going to going to do we are going to uh, study how to initialize a variable or a value in kotlin so uh, now we are going to create a new file so we are going to file and then go on new then go on kotlin class comma file slash file click on that click on file i am going to name this as variable and then hit enter okay so firstly i am going to write a program fun main where a is equals to 20 okay so uh, i have mentioned in the last video that i prefer to run program from here not here so what happens when i run the program from here so when i run program from here uh, just let it build yeah so when i run program from here uh, please note that the last program we wrote gets executed the hello world program and when i run program from here so the variable kt program runs and process finished and exited with code zero so uh, now we will discuss how to declare a variable in kotlin so to declare a variable in kotlin either where or val keyword is used so uh, i have wrote where keyword and now i'll use val keyword okay so uh, these are two ways by, for declaring a variable so uh, by uh, while mentioning uh, kotlin yeah, uh, or starting with kotlin i have mentioned that kotlin is a statically typed language and it has a type inference so what does uh, what did i mean by statically typed so before running the program before compiling the program uh, the type of the variable is exp explicitly known by the compiler so uh, when i compile the program the type of the variable is known by the compiler so uh, the type of this is int i'll be explaining that in um, in a while and uh, kotlin has a type inference so what does that mean uh, so when i hover over a so it tells me variable a is int so in kotlin uh, the variable automatically tells its types that what type it is variable or value okay so uh, now uh, what is the difference between where and well so well has an immutable reference so when i declared a well value so when i go and change the value of b to uh, 13 okay so uh, it gives it, it uh, underlines it by red and gives an error so what did when hover over it and it says that well cannot be reassigned so i am going going to uh, come to that and hit alt plus enter and when i hit alt plus enter it gives a give us a number of choices to proceed with and i click enter so what it does is it uh, converts well to where so that i can uh, reassign the value okay so we have uh, now discovered what is where and well difference so where very vari where variable has a mutable reference so the variable declared using where keyword can be changed later in the program and the variable declared using val keyword cannot be changed and it is similar to final variable in java if some of you might have uh, learned java okay so uh, what if i don't know the initial value of the variable so here i have initialized the variable a with some value but what if i don't know its value so uh, if i have a variable uh, name okay and i don't know what its value is but i do know it holds a string so i'll uh, mention a colon and then type string so here we have created a variable with a type string that can be defined later at any point so uh, now i want that the name should have a value uh, pk so i'll give that give that the value okay 
so it uh, now you can see that it is underlining is split by uh, yellow so let's see what it is telling so now we are going to hit alt plus enter and it's saying that uh, create it to value because it is not going to change so it is uh, saying that it we can create it to value also uh, now when i hit alt plus enter on going to the name it uh, created the initialization initialization within itself why did it do that because uh, the name was assigned just after the uh, variable declaration so it don't have a sense and it makes the course code of more line okay so now we have understood that how to declare a variable uh, there are two ways where well and where keyword and uh, how to declare it beforehand and not initialize it okay so how does that this code work so we are going to under a function which is which is has a name main okay so when i go to this where a equals to 20 so it creates a variable and a is the identifier by which this value has been identified okay so uh, it is a uh, like a common uh, nomenclature we follow uh, for naming the identifiers so what we do is like uh, when a, a variable has a short reference like in a function where the variable is used and at the end of function the variable is destroyed so we uh, we can use their short variable such as a b c i yeah in for loop we use a variable and it is destroyed after the for loop is concluded so we can use short variable short identifier there but uh, when we uh, make a large code so we uh, we should it is a common practice that we should name the variable that uh, such that we should name the identifier such that uh, when we come after three or four months to the code three or four months when we wrote the code so we should know that uh, why we why we created that variable and what the what that variables ho variable hold so uh, i'll just introduce some common practice such that uh, i have a application that stores a stores the mobile number so uh, what i can do is i can uh, create a identifier such as uh, mobile number mobile number in from application okay so it is a string that initially holds a number 99999 okay so uh, what i did here is i started with a small letter and then uh, after every word i created a capital letter okay so it's just a common practice we recommend you to uh, make your identifiers in this way okay otherwise that's fine you can use underscore uh, so uh, your variable identifier should start with a small case letter and it should not contain uh, any other special letters under than uh, uh, any other special letters uh, other than underscore so you can only use underscore and your variable identifier cannot start with an underscore okay so i hope that you like this video in the next video we are going to cover the data types and then we will proceed further thank you